One of the questions was being asked, as many of us know about, in subcontinent countries, people divide Ramadan into three parts, which is called three ashra, like a ten, ten, ten. And on each ashra has a separate dua. Like in first ten days, you recite this dua, in second ten days, you recite this dua, and in the third tenth, you recite this dua. All those with a lack of Islamic knowledge and all those people doesn't have a education and knowledge about Islam, they usually see all these things on account uh, social medias and they follow their local imams and the local maulanas and they do whatever their local imams and the maulanas tell them. But not understanding, go back to the authenticity if it is really proven from the Sahih Hadith. There was a hadith in the hadith was taken from Ibn Khuzama, the hadith number 287, and and the another hadith which was from Bekai from 293. The hadith was from this some one called Sayyid bin Ibn Musayb and goes to Salman al Farsi. Majority of the authentic scholars, the Mahadisin, they are the scholars of a hadith, proven this hadith as a da'if. This is not correct. And some of them said this is a rejected hadith. This is fabricated. Some of them say it's za'if and some of them sahih and some of them say has a different interpretation and the different given the different classification of this hadith. So many of the scholars who are authentic are the real hadith scholars they rejected the hadith based on many many points by let me give an logical answer what is the word ramadan the ramadan is the month of allah which is entirely let, let's take a look at this point it's entirely full of forgiveness full of repentance full of mercy and full of making a dua entirely 30 days now what is the problem with this hadith and many scholars would say even though it's a daif hadith it's okay but all those are authentic scholars they follow the sahih hadith they say this is rejected this is this is not correct because this is contradicting according to the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, this is contradicting this hadith from Ibn Khudama and from Bihaqi. This is not from the Sahih publication. Because automatically this is contradicting. On the one side, Allah said, this is my month, is entirely full of forgiveness, making this dua and making dua. It's entirely 30 days belongs to me. You do whatever you want to do with the full ibadah, asking forgiveness and everything. So how is it contradicting? All those Maulanas and all these people, they think it is okay, but understand something, this is not okay. You stay away from the Daif material, because people do not understand. The Daif and the fabricated Hadith are the root cause of all the, uh, the Bid'as. For example, the next generation will come, they will leave what was Sahih mentioned by the Prophet and the Quran, they will say, okay, we have a Ramadan coming up, this ashra, this dua is for this ashra, this dua is for this ashra, and this dua is for this ashra. And they'll continue for generations, with the generations, and to the generation, everybody stick to the 10 ashras. This ashra, that ashra, this is the third ashra. So by naturally, it is contradicting by itself because the Allah says this is the entirely month belongs to me and the entire month is for forgiveness for mercy and asking making a dua and making a change to your life entirely month not that you do the 10 you do the dua for this 10 days and you do different dua 10 days and you do the different 10 days this is not from the proven say all those ignorant and all those uneducated in islam those people keep spreading around this, this sending a message to each other this is the ashra this dua this ashra this dua this ashra this is not proven from the prophet please stop doing that this is not proven from anywhere because automatically this is contradicting what is being proven from the quran and from the sahih this this allah said this is entirely my month this is entirely my month and i made this month so i can wipe out all your sins allah look did the prophet said that that this 
is the 10 month this is the 10 days you have to do this dua like look at my point did the prophet specifically said to the sahaba in first 10 days you're going to recite this dua in next 10 days you're going to recite this dua in the third 10th you will recite this dua. you will not be able to find this so automatically this doesn't even make any any logic because the entire month belongs to allah for forgiveness for mercy and asking i'm making a lot of dua so this is this from this is what the hadith from abun khuzama and behaki but not from the sahih bukhari or the sahih muslim but only from from the this hadith and between the Sayyid bin abin musaib and salman al farsi uh, all the scholars said the narrations are broken it's, it's this the narrations is not correct so that's why they consider this hadith not true and biologically it's contradicting what has mentioned in the sahih hadith so please stop sharing these kind of messages so this has become so much common in subcontinent countries. So sharing a message. When it's a first 10 days, they're sending a message to the person, okay, make this dua, make this dua, make this dua. So things are going on and on and on. It has become so much common. So the next generation will come and they will they will continue with the three asras, three asras, three asras. There's no three asras. There is a 30 days. It's a 30 days or the 29 days. You have to make a lot of zikr, a lot of parvada. This is what the purpose of Ramadan.